Can I help you? No, I don't want any. Drop, drop! Get on the ground, get on the ground now! Stay on the ground, do not move! Do not move! Babe, call the sheriff now! If you move, you die! What's going on guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be talking about home invasions and how quickly they can happen if you're not prepared. Um, there's a couple things to take in consideration. Before you start really getting into all the possible scenarios, it's super important that you have a foundation for the security of your home. For me personally, the two factors, major factors, that I always follow is doors are always locked and I have a CCW on me at all times or within reach. Don't think we don't need back, 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 back. As you can see running through these scenarios, it happens very quickly and regardless how big, how bad, what your background is, you can lose your life in an instant and it gives them access, direct access to your wife and your children, okay? So we want to prevent that and we have to ensure that we lay a good foundation. So before we get started, <clears throat> always use a airsoft or something like that when you're running these drills. Accidents do happen and you never want to be responsible for potentially injuring or killing someone else when you're running these drills, okay? So as we go through this, I'm just gonna walk you through it and just kind of give you my thought process on it of how my house is set up. It's not gonna be exactly like yours is, so you just kind of have to adapt to that baseline, okay? So <clears throat> the first thing I have going for me is I have frosted glass windows, which is really hard to see in, but it allows me to see out, okay? So a, the third factor, security factor is, am I expecting someone? If I've called the plumber, if I've called, you know, someone to mow the yard, whatever the case may be, and I have a timeline, well then I can look out the window on the approach and I can kind of get a better idea of what they look like and see the vehicle and it's expected, okay? So there's no reason for me to really be alarmed at that point. If it's unexpected, as you notice, there was one point that I actually had the gun out. There's no reason for me not to have my gun out if somebody's at my door um, unexpectedly, okay? Some people will say that's a little overboard, but um, there are many videos out there to where <clears throat> people come up to do some type of sales pitch and then there are other um, you know, accomplices outside waiting to enter the house, okay? So it's not unheard of, it's actually very common nowadays, okay? So <clears throat> the next step is as I open the door, regardless if I recognize this person or not as someone who's supposed to be there, as you noticed, I always position myself partially behind the door, okay? All right, I always use my foot as a doorstop, okay? I may not be able to prevent them from coming in, but I can prevent them um, from getting full access to the door, which is gonna restrict their movement, which could potentially allow me to strike, slam them in the door once again. The, I'm unlimited of what I can do at this point, okay? The overall goal, if I can, is to get the door shut and locked, okay? So on the approach, I said, hey, can I help you? I don't want any. This person starts coming towards me. If I can get their hand shut in the door, I can strike. I get that door shut and locked and then back out with the gun itself, okay? At this point, if I'm home alone, well, I have to deal with, deal with it on my own, okay? Since I have a gun, my wife is, uh, she doesn't really shoot. I'm the primary protector. Hey, babe, call the sheriff, call 911, call the police, wherever you are, okay? Super important that you can do that. At that point, I can start communicating with this person outside that door. Get back, get away from my door. I have a gun. If you come in, I will shoot. Okay. No, I don't want any. I'm sorry. Babe, call the cops. Call the sheriff. Call the sheriff. Get back. I will shoot. Get back. Get back. Get away from my home now. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to shoot anyone. Even though I'm in the right, there's ramifications that I have to deal with. News are going to get involved. The way the world is going. Anti-gun people could potentially bully my wife, bully my children, death threats. 
All right, then I have to, even though I will be found innocent, I more than likely will have to pay for a lawyer, which is finances that I don't want to deal with. And then I have to deal with the emotional aspect of taking a life. Me personally, I can handle that. But I want you to think about a woman or a child knowing that someone was killed here. That's going to affect them emotionally. And once again, as the primary protector of the home, you have a responsibility to protect not only physically, emotionally, and spiritually, financially, okay? So we have to think about all of these possibilities, all right? So for whatever reason, this person breaches this doorway, all right, and I cannot um, close the door, whatever. I come out back in this direction here. Reason being, this is called the fatal funnel, okay? Even if I get that door shut, I'm coming here roughly at a 45, okay? If this person starts shooting through this door, they're going to be shooting back this way, and I want to ensure that I'm out of that fatal funnel, okay? Same thing goes with <clears throat> the simple fact, if he's just trying to suck me in and someone comes around the corner, I still want to go back this way, all right? Path of least resistance. This person's coming around this doorway. The easiest motion for him to take is 90 degrees. If I come back this direction, now he has to exceed 90 degrees, which is going to cause a greater restriction on the body and slow his movement down, okay? We're not trying to, at this point, I'm not trying to stop the person. I'm just trying to use every measure that I can to win that fight, okay? So as I said, there are millions of things to consider here, but it starts with having a really solid foundation for your home, locked doors, always have some type of protection on you, and is this person supposed to be here, okay? One last tip before we go. If you have a ring doorbell, you can actually access it on your phone and actually communicate and see who's outside before you even open the door, okay? One of the things that we've been told is the Frogman Tactical Channel has been hard to find. Maybe we're shadow banned, we don't know. But if you would be so kind, go to the Frogman Tactical homepage, go to the subscribe, there's a little bell beside it. Click the bell and select all. That way you get all the notifications as we upload new videos. Have a great day and God bless.